What is good guys, back with another small one Snake Jeff game, this time Tricking versus Ricardo. Uh, Tricking used his team in a small one too, so I kind of know his sets. Uh, it's AV Magina, Sub, Magma Storm, Taunt, Earth Power, Heat Churn, if I recall correctly. Uh, Wish Protect, Ally with Skull and Toxic. Uh, Scarf Lottie, uh, Power Punch, Return HJK, and Fake Out Lopani, if I recall correctly, it didn't have Ice Punch, yeah. And the Lando's defensive, so it's a defensive core between Gear, Lando, and Allo. Uh, I don't know if the, the churn is max special attack or just max HP, max speed. And Ricardo's team, that Mega Pinfler, I assume it's a standard mixed defensive, more so Spadaf, Gastron, the Toxic Recover, Skull, and Earthquake. Probably um, Bulky Mew, because I'm not a big fan, or that just in general, I know that Ricardo doesn't like Fast Mew, because if you run max speed Mew, uh, like Medicham, like you don't even switch into Medicham well anymore after some prior damage. So it's probably bulky immune with, I guess, enough speed for Adam and Zygarde and Adam and Lando and with Willow with Ice Beam Softballed and uh, Defog. The Greninja should be Scarf, it could also be the Lando, but I'm thinking more so Scarf Greninja makes sense with U-Turn, uh, Ice Beam, maybe Spikes. And the last move, maybe move to hit Heatran because Heatran is somewhat annoying to Ricardo's team. Because the monster that resist Heatran's moves, like Gastron, they don't want to take a Toxic. So like Heatran is definitely annoying for his team, so I could see that. Um, the Greninja having low kick or pump as well. Then the Heatran should just be Toxic, um, Taunt, Madman Storm and Earth Power. The Lando could be Z-move with uh, SD and Rocks. So he's just gonna switch into his Mew here as the Tricking is mostly just gonna Fake Out to get his Mega up. Uh, fake Out is gonna do laughable damage to the Mew. And... Now Ricardo's gonna double because the Almamola is really obvious and he can't do much to prevent the Almamola from coming out. Um, he did double into Lando, I think predicting the heat churn. So that already gives off information that his Mew most likely doesn't have off power. Tricking made a good mid ground of Alamomola because um, in case the Mew had off power, he didn't want to risk his heat churn. So now this Alamomola is threatened out by a Toxic. Uh, if Ricardo has Roxy, he could go for Roxy, but I assume his rocks are on the land risk. Now this is kind of a tough turn for Tricking because obviously he doesn't want to let his Alo get Toxic. Uh, keeping Alo healthy would be really nice for him. As Allo is definitely super annoying for Ricardo. Um, Ricardo's way of beating Allo would be toxicing it or um, getting up hazards or getting up a SD with either Lando or Pinsir to weaken it. So now he goes on the Mew on the rocks and he's just gonna defog. Uh, Tricking should just uh, switch out. He doesn't want to, he should not have a risk his Lando getting ice beamed. So the thing is, Tricking cannot uh, go for toxic here because if the Mew synchronizes and stays in, that would be bad for him. So he goes back into uh, Landris. I don't know if he predicted the Heatran, but if he did, really nice play. Now Tricking can go for rocks because Ricardo is never gonna stay. Oh, he stayed in risks. Wow. So Ricardo predicted him to go for rocks there. And Tricking meta um, caught him on. The Heatran just died. So um, Ricardo should have just gone to Mew there. I think he got impatient or something. He tried to catch him. Um, but the game is not over yet. Ricardo gets his rocks back up. If this is a SD Lando, he can go for SD here. Um, or he could. Yeah, I think he's gonna go for SD because he doesn't really wanna um, go into Mew because if Mew gets... Yeah, I think SD was the play there. So now this is kind of a 50-50 because this should definitely be a Z-move Lando. Um, no matter if it's Connor Crush or Sky Strike, if the Allo protects here and he goes for Z-move, then the Lando is not really a big threat anymore. But if he Sky Strikes on the other side or Connor Crush is on a non-protect, then Tricking is in a bad position. So like, if Tricking protects... On a Z-move, yes, it works out for him, but if Ricardo SDs again on a protect, then Tricking is screwed. So this really is um, a 50-50, I would say. Because after Lando wastes its Z-move, um, Tricking can pivot back to his own Lando, get the Intimidate off, and as the offensive Z-move, Lando doesn't run HPI, so the opposing Lando should wall him then. Uh, he already showed rocks in SD, so the other moves are either off quick and Fly or off quick and Stone Edge. A uh, tough turn here. I mean, Tricking does have a Wish in the air, which means... He's kind of tempted to um, like go into his Lando and pass that wish, but that would die to his Z-move. So Ricardo can predict that and the SD. Uh, either can predict the Protect or the switch into Lando. Both would uh, both players would get covered by SD. So I think uh, Ricardo might just go for SD. Because he doesn't lose much by doing that. Even if the Elo doesn't go for Protect. Um, as long as Tricking doesn't get a Scald Burn here, Ricardo is in a fine position still. So he does Protect, predicting the Z-move, and it does not work out for Tricking. And now Ricardo guaranteed gets a kill, he's just gonna click his Z-move here, no matter which Z-move it is. Pretty sure even if it's just 
Um, if it's not Sky Strike, it's still gonna kill the land because it's at plus three. It's gonna crush, okay. And the land just died, so now uh, Tricking is gonna go into his Ladi or his Lopani. But uh, Lopani didn't have Ice Punch, we talked about that. So he's forced into Ladi, he's gonna force to click Draco. The free switch into either Mew or Gastro, and they're gonna eat that up. Uh, so that Krakata can just go for Recover. Right, because having Gastro and Healthy is definitely nice. Tricking is gonna switch out into his. Uh, either his um, Lopani or his Alamomola here. Uh, Tricking could have definitely defogged there, but there was a plus 3 Lando in his face. Like, no one defogs on a plus 3 Lando. So he should just recover, he played safe. I don't know why he goes to Megina. Is he gonna bluff that he has Energy Ball? He can just click Scald here, right? I guess the reason why he went into Megina first is so that he wouldn't go for Toxic. And then he could pivot his Alamola in and threaten the Gathering out with a Toxic. But I don't like Tricking's play there, actually. He does Toxic, Ricardo goes in the Mew. That's what Ricardo wanted, um, synchronizing the Toxic over to the Allo. But even the Gaston, I think, had Toxic. So I don't know. Like, to be fair, Gaston was um, pretty tough for Tricking to deal with. But I think he should have gone back to Ladi um, when he was Magina. When his Magina was out, he should have gone back to Ladi to then threaten the Gaston with a trick and then he could have defogged the rocks away. But he did let his Allo get Toxic, which I don't really agree with. The Ricardo can go for Spikes or U-turn here with his Greninja. And even if the Allo scalds, it shouldn't do too much. He misses a Toxic. And it's obviously unfortunate. Uh, having Greninja on a timer would have been nice. <clears throat> so I guess that um, Tricking is going to try to Wish Path. He can maybe try to Wish Path into his Ladi to um, defog all the hazards away. Um, Ricardo can, I guess, just click Ice Beam here. Like, I think the Ladi is going to come out here um, because the Wish is up. And the Ladi would be back at full and the Ladi could uh, get rid of the hazards. Yeah, but I don't really like that. Um, I already said it. I don't like that he gets his Allo get Toxic. To be fair, it was kind of tough for him. Like, he had to play this really well. Um, after losing the 50-50 with um, protecting on the SD, then the Sky Strike got a guaranteed kill. Now, uh, the Crush got a guaranteed kill. Then it was kind of tough for Tricking because um, he had to lose a one. A really good play by Ricardo going for Toxic, knowing that the Ladi is going to defog. Um, like, otherwise, Gaston had to fear Trick there, but since there were two hazards up, it was pretty obvious that he was just going to do that. Now, Gaston is obviously going to switch out into the Mew here or into Greninja, most likely into Mew. Uh, because you don't want to get the Gastrion toxic. The Gastrion pretty much walls the Megiana and it can also help versus the Heatran, even though the Heatran also most likely has toxic. But yeah, going Mew is always the play there. And what is he going to do here? Is he just going to Ice Beam? Yeah, so the, that was a free switch into um, Heatran. Now, tricking, like I said, I know he said it's sub turned off for Magma Storm. So he can go for Substitute here for free. Because if then the Gastron comes out, he can go for Toxic. He just hard Magma. Okay, I thought he would, um, in case that the Gastron comes out, go for Sub first. Uh, so the Greninja is going to spike here, I think. Goes for U turn, playing it safe, okay. Maybe he doesn't have a move to hit Heatran, or he just want momentum. I think Spike would have been a good play there. Um, so Lando's going to uh, go for Roxy, I would guess. Off Quake, okay. Um, now he can just go into his Mew or Gastron, but he has to fear a trick. As uh, he does just Draco. Ricardo can just recover again here. Uh, because having Gastron full is nice. I don't know why the tricking didn't trick there. Does he need the Scarf for anything? Because he doesn't outspeed the Greninja since the Greninja has Scarf anyway. He doubles back into Pinsir. Uh, he can SD here. Oh, he has Sub. That's really cool. So even if the Allo has. It, that exactly gets. That means it so. Makes it so he can't get Toxic. And Scott might not break the Sub since Allo is piss weak. So now he can get up a SD here. And now he just gets a kill, uh, a kill with frustration. Oh, with quick attack! What? He does not have fake out. I know fake out doesn't break. Does fake out not work on sub? Like fake out could still have broken the sub. I know you don't flinch if you get faked out, but he could have still tried to break the sub. Yeah, so he d he is sub SD with return and quick attack. Um, you know he doesn't have earthquake, so at least tricking was able to break the sub. But and now he can go in heat turn and go for magma storm to threaten this out. But like tricking is in a really bad spot. Um, even though he get, he got rid of the um Ricardo's heat turn early. But after that, um, after his Alamomola got poisoned and Ricardo's SD Lando got a kill with Sky Strike, uh, with Scandal Crush, Ricardo could put himself in a better position. Now, this is. The recover is kind of obvious here, so Tricking might break that and go for Taunt or Toxic. Um, I think the recover is definitely gonna come out here. Nice play by Tricking, uh, predicting that correct. So now Tricking is going to go to Alamomola here because he doesn't want to risk his heat turn. Oh, he goes for sub, um, making it so the Gastron gets low on health, which is understandable because you only lose, I think, like 19%. Because sub costs you like one fourth of your health, but then you get 6% back from leftovers. Now he goes into Allo, I assume. Yeah. And he can just wish path. Allo being toxic is obviously annoying for him, but 
since uh, he has regen, it's still somewhat okay for him. Now, I guess one should switch out because he doesn't want to get toxic. Oh, he just recovered. Okay. Uh, I thought he could have gone to Mew there, but I understand why he stayed in because he still wants a good amount of health. Uh, now, the Elo is probably going to go for Wish here as he goes into Land Ruins. He probably just wants to get his rocks up. Ricardo just wants to get his rocks up. Also, Toxic is wrecking up, so if Elo stays in, it's going to get low eventually. And now Ricardo can just go into... To be fair, also, uh, Draco doesn't even Oko Lando from Full, I'm pretty sure, even if it's Offensive Lando. But he's just going to go into one of his bulky mounts, either Mew or Gastro, exactly. And he can just softball this off, because the next Draco should do, like, 26%. Uh, so tricking is forced out here. And Heatran. Now, Heatran is, I guess, the, the mon that puts in all the work for tricking, but... Since the Gastron... Yeah, I think Magma Storm is the play here. The Gastron is toxic now. And the Greninja can only switch in once to Magma Storm, if I recall correctly. Doubles back in the Allo. Um, I guess he's going to try to Wish Path into his Lari so he can get up a Defog again. Maybe that's what he wants to do. I don't remember how healthy the Magina is. I think the Magina was super low. I would probably go for um, an attack that doesn't let the Magina live. Exactly, he goes for Earthquake, just in case he wants to Wish Path into the Magina. Um, so now tricking is probably gonna go for default, but Ricardo shouldn't stay in here just in case he tricks. There's definitely the option of trick coming out as he does trick. And uh, so now the Mew is choice scarf and a lot of his lefties. So the, the Heatran should come out here actually. He could also default, but Ice Beam plus Toxic would do a lot. That's why I thought he would go hard Heatran because now his Lottie is gonna be quite low. But I guess getting rid of Rocks is worth it. Now you can go into Allo or Heatran here, both up free. So I can see Ricardo doubling exactly. Um, Lando um, would have covered the Heatran. The Heatran is super threatening. He doesn't want to give that free switch ins. And he can just go for rocks again here because I don't think he's ever going to risk his Heatran. Um, now, I think Ricardo can go to Mew or he can maybe even stay in because I guess Greninja breaking the Defog. Or was he willing to sack that or did he break the Defog? I mean, if he breaks the Defog, he could have also stayed in but and Stone Edge, I guess. But this works out. He U turns, I thought he would spike, I'm surprised, because he knew Hilari was locked in. Now he gets his pincer in, though, actually. Yeah, he gets his pincer in. I mean, he doesn't have to go pincer, but I would assume that the pincer comes out because the pincer subs on the Allo for free. Um, I did not run the calc, but I assume Allo's skull doesn't break the subs since Allo's piss weak. Yeah, if you guys. Um, I already uploaded uh, Ricardo's first game. If you guys. Didn't see that? I will link that in the description and at the end of the video, you can check that out. He goes into Landorus, okay, so he just wants his rocks back up or... He might SD? I thought he would have gone to Pinsir, but... Oh, since... Okay, I understand why, because the Pinsir doesn't have a move to hit Heatran. The Pinsir doesn't have a move to hit Heatran, so if he would sub down, he would lose health. But the thing is, uh, P I think Heatran relies on Magma Storm to hit Pinsir. So Pinsir would not have been a bad play. But I understand getting up rocks because the Lari is already quite low. And if he wishes, you can Stone Edge here. Uh, because if you Stone Edge here, actually, um, maybe the Megina lives the Stone Edge. This is... Okay, why do you protect? The th like, the, the Toxic is going to wreck up on the other Mola. So if he stays in, this doesn't work out for tricking. Maybe tricking is going to try to wish into his um, Megina on a Stone Edge. Okay, Ricardo switches out, not running his land to get too low, and Greninja also covers um, the switch into Lari. But now he was able to wish up the Megina, which is something for tricking, but I think Ricardo overall has this game. Um, he can just Earthquake here, I don't think he loses much by doing that. But he <laughs> makes a better play of doubling out of the Pinsir on the Alamola. I'm surprised actually that the Alamola came out, I thought the Lari would come out there predicting the Earthquake. But if I don't remember how healthy the Lari was. I think it was super it was somewhat low. No, I think I don't think it was the play there, but it works. You can switch out here. Um uh, because uh, return of frustration wouldn't kill the would not kill the Heatran. And Pitzer is still valuable. I mean sub is nice um, because it's more threatening versus stuff like Aloe, so you can't get toxic or burned. But it would obviously um, also be cool to have a move to hit Heatran. Now let's go into Gastron and I think Tricking is going to switch out this time because he already went for Torrent earlier and Ricardo did not go for Earthquake. So this time he might go for Earthquake. But I think I would just recover again if I'm Ricardo because you know that Tricking... Okay, okay, his Lari was actually super low. Um, so earlier I thought he should have gone to Lari, but I forgot his Lari was that low. I take that back then. So you can just go for like Scald here and the Lari is probably going to die after the Poison. Or just dies to the Scald. Now Tricking is going to go to his Aloe here, I guess, and Wish. 
because the guest room can't really stay in since the guest room's uh, toxic is gonna rack up. I've got a wish here. His skulls, okay. Uh, as you guys can see, that is like no damage. It's, it's like super, it's like kind of toxic Pex weak. Like it's a little bit stronger than Pex maybe, but it's super weak. So he just sacks land to get his rocks up. Okay, he didn't sack because they went for wish. But he's just gonna, um, he can go to Mew here, I think. Or Gastro, that works, yeah. I mean, both are already toxic. Our tracking keeps wishing into um, the Mediana here. Tricking should just go back into his Alamomola. But I don't see how Tricking wins this. He does not have a form of hazard removal anymore. His Lottie is dead. His offensive pressure is gone. He only has a Heatran. Heatran is eventually also going to run out of Magma Storms. And Pince is just going to um, like click return. And if the Greninja ever gets up spikes, then Tricking gets pressured even more. And since Ella is toxic, it cannot just stay in and spam Skull and Toxic itself. Which is uh, definitely important for Ricardo. He can just um, go into his Gastro or he can sack his land or one of the two plays work. Doesn't he Heatran? Um, I guess I would just go for Earthquake here if I'm Ricardo. I assume Tricking is going to go back into Alamomola, yeah. And I guess Ricardo can just go into Mew here because it kind of resets it resets the Toxic timer. Also the Alamomola is eventually going to run out of wishes. He cannot. Tricking can't keep doing this. He goes into Greninja that works as well. Uh, because now he can get up a spike, since Tricking has no hazard removal, I already talked about it. Uh, so if Tricking doesn't scald here, does he scald? He toxics. I don't know why he didn't scald there. I guess he w didn't want him to go back into Gastron or something like that. But I think scald was free there. So now Greninja is going to get up all three layers, because he didn't scald there for some reason. Uh, yeah, he's just going to spike again. All three mons are grounded, uh, which means every time they come in, they have to take a lot of damage now from rocks plus spikes. And Ricardo can just switch into his Gastron here, if I recall correctly, it's super healthy, yeah, somewhat healthy. And I think Ricardo can just like Earthquake here because Tricking has no ground immunity anymore. He does sub down to weaken the Gastron a bit, but that's fine. He, uh, Ricardo just wants to make sure that the Heatran doesn't have a sub up. And then he can, I think, always revenge it with the thingy. I think Lando outspeeds the Heatran, right? Because it's... It's, uh, it's all Jolly Landers, it should have speed the Heatran for sure. So you can just uh, Earthquake and kill the... Oh, he recovered, break the new Protect maybe? I don't know. I don't think that makes a huge difference there. Ricardo should have this game. You can just Earthquake here and get a kill pretty much with the Gastro. He ran into Greninja, I guess breaking Protect from the Allo? Uh, okay, maybe he didn't want the Toxic cracking up on the... On the <clears throat> so if Greninja doesn't have oh yeah I forgot about talking about Rock Slide yeah the reason why Greninja has Rock Slide obviously I didn't talk about that at Team Preview uh, it's to hit Volcarona so he's just gonna off here and get a kill <clears throat> obviously I completely forgot that what did I say I said U-turn Ice Beam spikes and then maybe move to hit Heatran yeah I mean Rock Slide is pretty much needed because it's I mean not not the team has a pincer to check Volcarona so it doesn't have to be Rock Slide but. Rock Slide still makes some sense, yeah, I understand why he has it. So yeah, Ricardo pretty much wins this game, he just clicks uh, off quick. Even if the Heatran subs down, obviously um, it cannot win the game. So Tricking does just forfeit and save us some time there. Um, yeah, like, Ricardo was uh, a bit reckless at the beginning, sacking his turn, but he um, played his way back into this. I think he played this pretty well. And I think one turn I also mi mixed up um, where I thought that uh, Ricardo could just off quick. I guess he didn't want the Toxic wrecking up on his Gastron because health on his Gastron is pretty valuable. Because Gastron pretty much beats everything uh, on Tricking's team. Or at least makes sure that Heatran doesn't get us up. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with more Snake Draft games, with more short lives. Stay tuned for more content and peace out. Smash that like a button and goodbye.